Stopford, home to over 7 million people and also host to some breathtaking attractions for the 4 billion tourists that visit every year. And where do these people go for the information they need? Stopford Tourist Information is in the heart of Stopford and within the very walls exist some of the most attentive and hard-working employees of the ever-growing business. We've spent the last year following the daily working lives of the metaphorical cogs that keep the centre running smoothly. One of these people strive to give the visiting tourists the accurate information they need. Joe Harris is the travel support manager, and whilst his duty is to keep the centre provided with up-to-date information, he also aims to keep a good working environment, with a spring in his step <laughs> and a smile on his face. He maintains the friendly atmosphere. Hello, my name is Joe. I'm managing director here at Stockford. I try to promote a good posture, you know, when sitting in the chair talking to them. Giving definite eye contact and also uh, showing all your teeth is vital part. We've got a load of attractions that we try to promote here at Stockford Travel. Um, a variety including the Hat Museum in, in Stockford is one of the high end visiting uh, attractions of Stockford. Uh, if, 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 if indeed the only um, the only attraction in Stockford. Seen it? They've updated the Hat Museum website. Oh my god! <laughs> Let me ring them and tell them what a superb job they've done. Hello? Yeah, this is Sophie. Yeah, no, no, I don't want any tickets. Just wanted to congratulate you. Great website. Yeah, uh, Joe wants to talk to you now. Alright? 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 Uh, hello. Jeanette, hi. Yes. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yes, I've still got the piles. I love hats, as you can see. I got this one off Mohammed in Stockford. Uh, he, he was actually flogging them for $2.99, so I decided to get them. But uh, yes, I'm a huge, huge ambassador of the hats. I think it's an amazing achievement that people actually created such a, an amazing thing. Well, uh, that's what we uh, tell them anyway. There's so much gossip going around our office every single day. Even if this customer's there, you know, Jeanette, she's put a few pounds on. We saw her walking past the window the other day. Looks like she's got a baby koala growing inside her. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is that Jeanette? Oh my oh God. Oh my God. Is she, she pregnant? I don't know, but she put some weight on. She looks like she's got a koala in there. Jesus Christ, mate. My God. Jesus. Oh, there she is. Hi. Hi, hi You're Jeanette. Right, love? Jesus Christ. See you later. What we don't like to say in front of her, you know, uh, you know, keeping a good, uh, good, um, good friends with her, and also that f***ing gay horse. What a puff! You know, he walks into our office and and, and and tries to create good vibes. Hello. Oh hi, mum. No way. Oh my god, my brother just had an any dunny no adventure. I feel like giving him good vibes and shoving my cowboy boot up his arms. Another employee is one that has the task of informing any tourists that use the helpline to get assistance to find what Stockford has to offer. Sophie Campbell is the customer service representative and she endeavours to give the visiting community the best information possible to her knowledge, recommending the creme de la creme of Stockford's attractions. No policies where well, I've got this one where if anyone's like stuttering or hesitating on the phone, Timey kangaroo Dan, sport. Timey kangaroo Dan, timey kangaroo Dan, sport. Timey kangaroo Dan. Thanks for holding. Well, holding. Have you thought about visiting? Stop thirds. Number one tourist attraction. Three pound a trip, including travel costs. Timey kangaroo Dan, sport. Timey kangaroo Dan. 
Tommy kangaroo down sport. Tommy kangaroo down. Hello? Thank you for holding. I'll get a piece of um, super plastic, that's what it's called. And then I'll crinkle it into the phone. And like, if he, I'll just hang up. Really? What? You still gotta. You still gotta write, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, you're cracking it up. Go to the happy zoo. Yeah, I wanted to go to Chester Zoo. And see another express thing. Um, this job's really, uh, oh, can you say crap in this? Yeah. Oh, right. Can you say <laughs> Right then, that's what the fuck. The only thing we had before the Hat Museum, we had Woolworths. A lot where that got us. Oh, you, you, are you? This is the Hat Museum, what? A newcomer to the team is one that aspires to be the very best. Bruce Cocklot is the trainee of the centre, and with his unique fashion sense and physical originality, Bruce hopes that one day he too can be at the top of the tourist tycoon. The first problem I have when I wake up in the morning is my hair. It does not stay up. It does not stay up. And then the foundation when you're applying it... Oh, well, we don't really have many problems. Oh, wait! There is just this one thing. They say I'm not really here. That I'm not here, but you can see from my fine physique that I am here and I am glorious. Just look at my hair, for example. But they, they, they discriminate against me. Like last Tuesday. That's all I've got to say. It's not my fault I was born in Libya. It's not my fault. It's that one day of year that does not come around all the time. It's not my fault. <laughs> So set down that backpack, put down that map, and take a tour of the voted 52nd best tourist information centre in the world. Welcome to Stockford Tourist Information.